Welcome everybody to Showtime's Fight Farm. I'm your host, Showtime. Guess what, guys? We are here to talk about UFC 263, and I am hyped. There's a lot of amazing fights right now. We got title contenderships. We got actual title fights, and I am ready. Um, but first, obviously, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you comment. Tell me who you think is going to win, your fight predictions, good stuff like that. I will be doing some fight predictions for today. And hopefully I do really well because of the last one, I believe I did awful except for the main event. That was the only one I was accurate on was the Charles Oliveira fight. So this is my chance to redeem myself. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, um, yeah, obviously we know the main event is going to be Izzy versus um, Vittori. They fought before. This is a part two. First fight really wasn't that exciting. Um, I'm not going to go into that one first since it's the main event. I'll talk about that last. The fight I actually want to talk about first is going to be not the co-main event, but the fight before the co-main event. And the fight that you guys were trying to bully me on. I didn't appreciate it. And that is the Nate Diaz versus Leon Edwards. I'm going to go ahead and be real with you. Leon about to whip his ass. All right. And you Nate Diaz fans, I understand why y'all like him so much. I respect the fact that you like him so much. And I want to appreciate you. I want to say I appreciate you guys for uh, making that video my most viewed video. So hopefully this one can match it as well. Um, but y'all still going to hate me because I'm going to be honest. Leon's going to whip his ass. Simple and plain. Uh, Leon's on an eight fight win streak. It would have been nine if it wasn't for the eye poke. It sucks that the eye poke did happen. Leon has bad luck for whatever reason. Um, but I have issues with Leon's eight wins, like I've said before. My issue with Leon is the fact that Leon, his eight, his biggest win, I believe, is RDA, who's not, in my opinion, a real welter, welterweight. And I, him beating Nate does nothing for me. It doesn't. Like, it just genuinely doesn't do anything for me. Uh, and I wish he fought uh, somebody in the top five. Vicente Luca would have been amazing. But... Obviously, at the time the fight was booked, I think Vicente was already booked up and stuff like that. Um, but regardless, um, Nate Diaz, he's 4-4 four four as a welterweight. He got his ass whooped by Jorge Masvidal. It wasn't a close fight at all. And I don't really see this fight being that close either. I don't think Leon's going to get the finish because Leon's not much of a finisher. But I do see him, um, I'm not even going to say outpointing. I think he's going to hit him a few times because Nate is a very hittable human being. We've seen it in several of his fights. You can punch that boy, but I think Leon is going to honestly tag him, tag him and bag him, and he's just going to keep picking him apart. Um, possibly could get a finish. I don't see it happening, but I think it's just going to be a unanimous decision by Leon, and then he's going to you know, say, nah, no, nine wins now. I want the winner of Colby Covington and Usman, and then we'll be bored. But like I said, I just think it, it, it should be a fun fight because I don't really know Nate to be in boring fights more so. More, mainly when he fights wrestlers and they just hold him down, that's when it's boring. I don't. I do think um, Leon will take him down, but I don't think it's going to be often. I think he's going to you know, mix it up very well and obviously he's going to get the win pretty easily. The next fight I want to talk about is going to be on the prelim card. And that's going to be the Lauren Murphy versus Joanne Calderwood. Cal Calderwood. I don't know why I messed up her name. But um, this fight's... Important into the that flyweight division. At the end of the day, the winner of this is probably going to fight Valentina Shinchenko and get their ass whooped. So this is going to be a very, very important sacrifice, guys. I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Um, and it should honestly be a very fun fight. So Lauren's on a four-win fight streak. She's uh, I said four-win, yeah, four-win fight streak, and she has been looking very well, man. She's been dominant in wrestling. Her stand-up has been getting better. She's been fighting well. So, I mean, she, and she's been calling out the champ. She wants that fight. And I want her to get the fight because I think, in reality, what she really wants is the money for when she fights. I don't really think she wants to fight her because I don't think that's going to end well. But, yeah. Then we got Joanne Calderwood. Everybody loves so much. Very, very, very lovable human being. She's two and two her last four. Uh, as a fighter, I wish she was better. I remember on The Ultimate Fighter... She was the number two seed, I believe, and everybody gave her all this hype, and I was just never impressed. I'm still not impressed, honestly, with her. She's a very good fighter, but I just don't think she's even anything close to elite, and you have to be somewhat close to elite to even make a competitive versus Valentina Shinshenko. Um, How do I see this fight going? Actually, it's funny. These Both both these girls are ultimate fighter uh, com um, contestants, but how do I see this fight going? I personally believe that Joanne Calderwood actually will win. Um, I think that she'll stuff the takedowns and be able to pick uh, Lauren Murphy apart on the feet. And when I say pick a point, I, pick, pick apart, I really mean she's just going to point her and uh, come with a victory. Now, granted, if Lauren gets that takedown, 
that first round, she gets the takedown. The fight's going to be over. Joanne Calderwood can't break easily. I don't think she's the strongest fighter mentally, and she can't be broke. So Lauren might break her. That's very possible. I don't see it happening. I think Joanne's going to be on rhythm, and she's going to win. Um, and now let's talk about these championship fights. So this is the fight that I'm really looking forward to because the first fight was just so fire. And that is the Figgy versus Brandon Marino. The first fight we all know was amazing. Uh, I personally thought Figgy did enough to win that fight, even with the point deduction and all that good stuff. But man, I'm so happy we're doing the rematch. I like my heart wants Brandon Marino to win because if you've seen the Ultimate Fighter as well, once again, these are it's funny. A lot of these contestants are from the Ultimate Fighter, which is why I love the show and I'm happy they're back. Um, I'm one of the people who actually love the Ultimate Fighter. I love Brandon Marino's story from the get-go, being a young guy with a kid and just having the heart of gold, man. He's just a, a lovable dude. He's funny. He's always smiling, having a good time. And he had an upset in the fight. And I was like, man, this dude's tough, man. I, I, I'm rooting for him. And now he's in a championship fight. So kind of similar, not on the extreme level of a Charles Oliveira, but somewhat similar. Um, so I'm hoping he wins. I hope he does. Do I think he's going to win? Hell no. I think Figgy's going, I think Figgy's, Figgy's going to get to finish this time. I think he's going to TKO him. I don't know if it's going to be to the body or the head, but I think he's going to catch him with a shot that's going to be way too crucial, and he's going to get the stoppage. I'm going to say uh, TKO about a third round. Now, the moment you all been waiting for, the main event, which is Marvin Vittori versus Israel Anasanya. Uh, this is a rematch. This was from a split decision, which was Izzy's closest fight at middleweight ever. His closest fight. Uh, Marvin was able to take him down and control him, and we found out that Izzy's ground game is not that good. Uh, but he still toughed it out, thugged it out, and won. How do I think this fight's going to go? I think Izzy's going to play with this dude, and he's going to play with his food, and then he's going to eat the food. I think Marvin's going to get desperate. We've seen that if Marvin does not get um, secure that takedown, he's very desperate and success, uh, susceptible on his feet. I probably still said that wrong, but I was trying to be fancy, and now I'm bojangling, so who cares? But regardless, at the end of the day, I do think that Marvin's going to go de go in desperate for a shot. Um, I don't think he's going to get it, and I think Izzy's just going to pick him apart until he catches him with a mean, crucial head kick and KOs him. Um, I see that happening in the second round. And then Izzy's going to do some cool, weird, dumb dance. And then next thing you know, people on MMA community is going to be hating. And then he's going to be talking about his anime stuff and do his anime runs. And then talk about what's next. Um, so that's basically how I see UFC 263 going. I'm so hyped. I'm so ready. And I hope you guys are too. It's going to be a firework of a fight. Um, but tell me who you think, your, what your fight predictions are. And tell me how you think it's going to end. And who's next for the winners. Uh, thank you guys. Be blessed and have a great day. This is Showtime's Fight Forum. I'm your boy Showtime.